Welcome to the first video in the silicone rubber series. What is silicone and its uses? Silicone rubber. So industrial silicone is also known as liquid silicone rubber or LSR or simply silicone rubber or just silicone. Now silicone rubbers are widely used in industry. Silicone rubbers are often one or two part polymers and may contain fillers to improve properties or reduce cost. Silicon rubber is generally non-reactive, stable and resistant to extreme environments and temperatures while still maintaining its useful properties. Due to these properties and its ease of manufacturing and shaping, silicon rubber can be found in a wide variety of products. Curing. In its uncured state, Silicon rubber is a highly adhesive gel or liquid. In order to convert it to a solid, it must be cured or vulcanized or catalyzed. This is normally carried out in a two-stage process at the point of manufacture into a desired shape and then in a prolonged post-cure process. It can also be injection molded. Let's have a look at some of the properties of silicon. Now, silicon rubber offers good resistance to extreme temperatures, being able to operate normally from minus 100 to 300 degrees centigrade. Silicon rubber has low tensile strength, poor wear and tear properties. Some properties such as elongation, creep, cyclic flexing, tear strength, compression set, dielectric strength, that is at high voltage, thermal conductivity, fire resistance, and in some cases tensile strength, can be at extreme temperatures far superior to organic rubbers in general. On the right here, we can see a general table for silicone elongation properties. Let's have a look at some of the other properties silicone is well known for. So silicon rubber is highly inert and does not react with most chemicals. Due to its inertness, it is used in many medical applications, including medical implants. It is biocompatible, hypoallergenic, which makes it suitable for baby care products and food contact in general. On the right, we just have an image of a breast implant. There are, of course, special grades. So there are many special grades and forms of silicon rubber, including steam resistant, metal detectable, high tear strength, extreme high temperature, extreme low temperature, electrically conductive, chemical oil acid or gas resistant, low smoke emitting and flame retardant. Silicon rubber is available in a range of hardness levels expressed as Shore A or IRHD between 10 and 100. The higher the number being the harder the compound. It is also available in virtually any color and can be color matched to your requirements. Let's have a look at some of the common applications. Once mixed and colored, silicon rubber can be extruded into tubes, strips, solid core or custom profiles according to the size specifications of the manufacturer. Cord can be joined to make O-rings and extruded profiles can be joined to make seals. Silicon rubber can also be molded into custom shapes and designs. Manufacturers work to set industry tolerances when extruding, cutting or joining silicon rubber profiles. Let's have a look at some more physical applications. So general grade silicon rubber is used in the automotive applications, many cooking applications, baking and food storage products, apparel including undergarments, sportswear and footwear, electronics to home repair and hardware and a host of unseen applications medical implants 
and feeding applications which we mentioned earlier. So medical grade applications. Most medical grade silicones are at least class 6 certified and these include tubing, drains, feeding tubes, catheters, implants for long and short term use, seals and gaskets, syringe pistons, scar treatment silicone sheets and gels, condoms and respiratory masks. In the next video, we're going to be looking at injection molding process of silicon rubber. Liquid silicon rubber injection molding is a thermoset process that cools in the material delivery system while heating the mold tool to cure silicone materials into parts. The liquid silicone injection molding process is highly automated with short cycle times to reduce the silicone part price. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And you see this little bell symbol, if you hit that, we will send you a notification each time we upload new content. Thanks for listening, my name is Paul Adams from Sophist and I shall see you in the next video.